Yep, yep, yep. Warren Sapp is back out here in Ashburn. He spent some time with you all in minicamp and he had some high praise. What does it mean to have a Hall of Famer, seven time pro bowler and Super Bowl champ like Warren Sapp compliment you all in that way? It means a lot. Whenever you have a guy who's done it at the highest of levels like he has, and he, you know, is gracious enough to come out here and give us his time and effort and energy, you know, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Our job is to make sure we take in as much as we can and just work our tail off every day. What's John, the John, what, 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 what? In? Biggest is mentality. D-line is all about mentality. We can talk about technique, we can talk about scheme, but it's not about what you do, it's about how you do it. John, you obviously there was a change with the D-line coach today, letting go Sam Mills. What were your thoughts on that? I mean, at the end of the day, it's sad. I think me and Coach Sam were getting along really well. We were really making some progress as a defensive unit. Um, it, it's the NFL, and people just got to remember, it's a great game, but a terrible business. Um, obviously, it wasn't ideal for him, but as a team, we have to focus and keep moving forward. You know, I love Coach Sam, and I wish him the best. But my focus is making sure everyone who's here, I'm doing my best to make them better. So how that's what I'm focused on. How unusual is it? You know, is it we're midway through camp here, and it's not like uh, an off season. It wasn't an early off season change. Just how much is it weird for you, kind of, to go through this? One thing I've learned in the NFL is that nothing is unusual. You got to learn to expect the unexpected, and as soon as you get comfortable, the NFL will surprise you. So I mean, going into my sixth year, there's very few things that can surprise me in the NFL anymore. I've seen guys, seen some of my best friends get cut seen some guys so I thought for sure were great players not make it for whatever reason or another so it's really hard to surprise me going into year six. Was this one of the few things? <laughs> I think the timing was very surprising but at the end of the day it's not my job to worry about that it's my job to play football and that's what I'm going to do we have the utmost faith in Coach, faith in Coach Rivera and you know we're going to rally and we're going to go. What, 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 what did you find out? I'm sorry? How did you find out? Coach Rivera came and talked to the D-line personally. Well, what was his message to you guys? He just told us that it was his decision for whatever reason or another, and he told us he's going to be moving forward as a helm, and that was it. We got a job to do. Shocked to, shock to hear that? I'm sorry. Did you have any sense that this is something like this to be happening? I had no idea. No. What does Jeff add as a, as a coach? When you look at a guy who's played 17 years at, in the position in the NFL, there's so much that he's learned over those 17 years and however many years he's been coaching. So, I mean, there's so much that he can teach us, and, you know, we're just excited to get to work. What are some things that you learned from him already? I mean, like, it's kind of like what I learned from Warsaw is the mentality you have to play with. When you look at a guy who played 17 years in the NFL, they're not normal, and you can't be normal to do what we do. Uh, obviously, do the, the... I, I don't think so. He's been with us for the last three years, so he knows how we play. We know how he likes to coach, and you know, we're just getting ready for Carolina. Obviously, the losing of last season was frustrating. How does this impact you know you guys as you get ready for a, a pretty important season here? I mean, at the end of the day, no matter what distractions you get handed, we're professionals, and our job is to handle those distractions and do a job. I mean, regardless of outside circumstances, we get paid to do a job, and I'm going to do my job to the best of my ability. Appreciate it, John. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.